What's up guys, it's Oblivion Guy, and welcome to another Dragon Ball Xenoverse character customization. In this one, we are going to be making Athena from the Borderlands series, or specifically Borderlands the pre-sequel, because that was, you know, the newest one she was in, or the latest one she was in. Overall, this character was pretty easy to make, honestly. Her, most of the hair and the sizes were there, but, you know... This character wasn't all that difficult to make, and I thought it was really cool how it came out, and everything kind of just fell into place. The armor that she wears after the, you know, the outlook, or at least the creative character part, th this part right here, the armor is literally one of the simplest things to do, and almost anyone can do it. Well, except for maybe one piece, but, you know, we'll get to that in a second. Her hair is like a dark purplish kind of thing. She's very, she's kind of like muscular and she's like a super soldier-esque kind of thing. Or at least the tallest that Xenoverse has to offer me. And her voice is kind of like that, um, it's like grown woman voice, you know, the one that takes charge. And we're just going to spell out her name. Uh, T, no, I should have spelled it wrong. Because I've been, you know, keep consistent with the theme and stuff. But yeah. And Athena, well, she has guns, and she's kind of close, so balance, you know. And yeah, so far, you can kind of see where I'm going with this, but trust me when I tell you this, when the armor shows up, it's going to be a lot clearer. And there we have it, kind of. This is Athena. Okay, now, let's go on to the equipment. Wild Rider suit is a majority of this. The accessory, I gave her the Turtle Hermit shell, kind of like her shield, because, well, I don't think there is a shield, as far as I know, in Xenoverse. And Android 18's pants, that is the only difference. I, you could give her the Wild Rider suit for that one as well, but it doesn't really look good on her. I mean, depends on what you mean. And there are no colors, absolutely none. This, this is literally the free set I've ever made so far. Uh, attacks, Meteor Crash, because she's up close and personal. Tyrant Lancer, I had to give her at least maybe one key attack, and plus that kind of represents her sword. After Image, because, you know, you can kind of dash away and stuff. Deadly Dance looks good on every female. I don't care what you say. It's just literally one of the best physical moves and best looking ones for females. Victory Rush, you know, because I think she has like a, she has a melee, I think, that lunges at you. I'm not, I don't remember. Uh, Spirit Sword because of her sword again, and Spirit Slash, although you could give her that um, that jump Alternat alternatively. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Or, or you could just give her, you know, that uh, other jump stuff. Or, you know, you can give her Super Drain because, you know, she's a human, and humans do need a lot of um, energy, especially if you're running a Kaioken set. And I think... And force Or Force Shield. You know, Force Shield's good because... When, you, when she pops the uh, shield in the pre-sequel, that absorbs a lot of bullets and damage and all that other stuff. It's amazing. And that's Athena. Nice, quick, and easy. Enjoy the montage, and I will catch you guys later.